All right, so in this problem, we need to first find a common denominator. My common denominator would be 4x. So all my fractions need to have 4x. In this first fraction, it was missing the 4. So 4 times 2, I get 8. This next fraction was missing the x, so I would multiply the top by x. 1 times x, I get x. And this last one was missing the 4. So 7 times 4, I get 28. Okay, now that they all have 4x, I'm going to combine this to make one fraction. So I get 8 plus x over 4x equals 28 over 4x. Now that these are both the same, I can set the tops equal to each other. So I get 8 plus x equals 28. Subtract my 8, therefore I get an answer of 20, which is choice D. Number two, okay, first we need to find a common denominator. Now, if there's nothing down here, we know it's a one. So my common denominator in this case is gonna be x. So they all need to have an x on the bottom. Okay, and this first one, it already had an x, so I didn't have to do anything there. So it still keeps the 24. This one was missing the x, so I multiply that. Five times x is five x. This one already had the x, so I don't have to multiply anything. Now that these are the same, we can put them together and to make one fraction. So I get 5x minus 1 over x, 24 over x. Now again, these both are the same. I can set the tops equal to each other. So 24 equals 5x minus 1, getting x by itself. So I'm going to add that 1 to the other side. So I get 25 equals 5x. And lastly, divide by 5, therefore I get an answer of 5, which is C. Okay, this next one, we need to do the same thing. So the first thing we need to do is find a common denominator. My common denominator would be x and x plus 4. All right, so in this first one, it was missing the x plus four, so I'd multiply. One times x plus four is x plus four. This next fraction was just missing the x. One times x is x, and this one was missing the x. So I need to make sure I distribute. x times x is x squared. x times five is five x. Okay, now I need to combine these to make one. So I have x plus 4 plus x over x times x plus 4. We still have x squared plus 5x over here and x times x plus 4. Okay, now that the bottoms are the same, I can put the tops together. And I'm just going to combine this in an x and an x. So I get 2x plus 4 equals x squared plus 5x. Now anytime I have that x squared, I need to make sure I get everything on one side and set it equal to zero. So I'm gonna move both of these terms over to this side so it's set equal to zero. So zero equals x squared. I need to move this two x to the other side, so I'm gonna subtract five x minus two x is three x. And then I need to move this four to the other side, so I'm gonna subtract four. Okay, then I need to um, set each of these equal, or break them up into my parentheses here. I get an x and an x. Um, a negative, so I need a positive 4, a negative 1, and when I set, then I need to set each of these equal to 0. Therefore, when I solve for this one here, I get x equals negative 4 and x equals 1. Now, I need to make sure both of those can be an answer. So if I look under here, I cannot have a 0 on the bottom of this fraction, so I'm going to check negative 4. Negative 4 plus 4 equals 0. I can't have a 0 on the bottom of the fraction. Therefore, my negative 4 cannot be an answer. If I plug in 1 into those bottoms, I get an answer number, so it doesn't matter. It's not 0. Therefore, 1 could be my only answer there. And my last now you try, we need to find a common denominator. So to help us find our common denominator, we need to break this down. So when we break this down, we get x plus 7, x plus 3. Okay, so my common denominator is going to be x plus 7, x plus 3. Okay, 
Okay, so in this first parenthesis, it was missing the x plus 3. So I'm going to multiply this by x plus 3. 1 times x plus 3 is x plus 3. In this one, it was missing the x plus 7. So I need to multiply this by x plus 7. So I need to distribute. 2 times x is 2x. Two, 2 times 7 is 14. And this last one wasn't missing anything, so I don't need to multiply it by anything. So I still get negative 4. Okay, now that these are the same, I can combine these to one fraction. So I get x plus 3 plus 2x plus 14 all over, oops, sorry, yeah, all over x plus 7, x plus 3 equals negative 4 over x plus 7, x plus 3. Okay, now that my bottoms are the same, I can set my tops equal. I'm going to combine this. And an x and a 2x is 3x. A 3 and a 14 is 17. I still have negative 4. Okay, then I'm going to subtract my 17 to the other side. So I get a negative 21. And lastly, divide by 3. Therefore, I get negative 7. Now we need to make sure we check that negative 7, so we need to plug it in. If I put negative 7 plus 7, that gives me 0. I can't have 0 on the bottom. So that cannot be an answer. So my answer here is going to be no solution. Make sure you double check all your answers.